Hello and welcome to the show. I am here on GTA 5 for another Versus the Police and my vehicle today is an interesting one actually. It is the Deu Nibiru, Nibiru, sorry, I think that's how it's pronounced. That's as close as I'm going to get uh, with this car. It's something a little bit different. The model is a replacement for the Ingot. Now, we I drove the Stratum a little while ago. It did relatively well, actually. Uh, the Stratum had a quite a leaky fuel tank, if I've remembered correctly, but it did uh, pretty well. Kind of interested to see uh, how this car can do. Not as quick as the Stratum, for kind of straight line speed and so on. However, the, uh, the handling, well, this does change direction ridiculously well. It's front wheel drive. Uh, the handbrake is incredible. This was me, like, a little brief testing. <laughs> it spins around so easily. Uh, I guess when it comes to sort of adding these models in, it does it does change the way that these things these things drive slightly. Yeah, this changes direction very quickly, although not particularly fast in a straight line. It's actually a really cool model. I've, I've played with all sorts of various different cars. This has got one of the best, most detailed kind of interiors I think I've seen uh, for, for any of these cars. And it's, uh, well, it's a day. It's a day that people probably don't think about. Um... It's it's something different, and I'm I'm glad that people model these kind of cars. You know, it's all very well having you know. There's plenty of Ferraris and Lamborghinis for this game. That's fine, but sometimes you just want something a little bit different, which is why uh, I am using the other day you here today. It is uh, left completely standard, with the exception, of course, of the bulletproof tyres. And we are now going to try and run away from a four-star wanted rating. Now, one of the limitations of the vehicle mods at the moment is the glass on the cars will not shatter. It's just, I, I don't know why, I, uh, I know, know nothing about... Uh, oh look! Fellow Deus! All of the fellow Deus are in the, uh, in the car park. Yeah, I, I know nothing about programming, so but people are having problems with getting these uh, these custom cars to have windows that shatter, so yeah, they, they won't. I'm assuming I can still get shot through them, though. Uh, oh, we're getting... Oh dear, we've already got nudged. I can see us doing many, many spins. Oh good god, the, it doesn't like off-roading. <laughs> oh, it doesn't really quite know what to do with the bumps. It's... Uh, no, don't force me off-road anymore. <laughs> um, okay, we're fine. Speed! Use speed! Go forward, please! Please go faster. Okay, uh, how, are you going to be able to follow me over here, Stanley? Wow, we get we can change directions so quickly! <laughs> no! Okay, we're gonna play. This is a dangerous, dangerous game. We're gonna play in front of the train. Oh, police car made it. Oh, crap. Oh, no, wait, it's fine. There's enough space there. Damn it, I really wanted the train to smash the police car, but no. No, the, the, the police car was too sensible for any of that. Ah, we've got all manner of lack of speed. Just, I, I <laughs> It's not particularly fast. Okay, right. We are um, on the motorway. Uh, the helicopters may well do a lot of damage to us uh, on the motorways. Now, what are, oh, good. God, there's all manner of chaos going on here as well. Uh, oh, it's fine. The, the, oh, no. <laughs> uh, the cone limited us to about 60, but oh, we were losing speed because of a cone. Uh, this is not a fast car. In fact, you can tell it's not a fast car because the dune, oh, the dune loader was catching it briefly. That's that's not a good sign. Okay. It's not got any speed. Oh, bloody hell. Uh, <laughs> oh, dear God. We got rugby tackled by a buffalo. Uh, I mean, I was kind of toying with the idea of throwing my car up here. The police kind of made up my mind for me there. It was kind of a, right, so you're going up here. And I don't know what on earth happened where the car's twisted and tumbled through the air there. Something peculiar. Oh, dear God, we're at 44 miles an hour. Oh, no, we're struggling. We're, we can't even get to 45. <laughs> I, I, I'm not sure. The, the, the kind of the model may have added some weight to the vehicle. <laughs> oh, look at the bushes! <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> if we go through the air, we hit a bush. Oh, there's a cow there! Sorry! Oh, cow. I don't know. I think the cow fell over. I think I may have done a bad thing. I apologize, cow. Uh, you kind of caught me out there. Ah, oh, bloody hell. I didn't even see that one coming. Um, <laughs> go! Go, there you go. We will try it. Well, we're not losing fuel yet. Uh, use the agility. Um, FBI guy, or FIB guy, sorry. We're going to have to knock you over, because otherwise you're going to start shooting at me some more. Oh, dear God. You know it's bad when the cars going off-road can keep up with you. That's uh, 
That's when you really know you're in uh, you're in trouble. And now is that? Oh, no, I think that's just dirt. Uh, the second I thought there was smoke. But yeah, also, this model has a really fantastically sort of modelled engine as well. A really, really, really well modelled car. This one. It does get very ridiculously twitchy through bushes, mind. Uh, <laughs> if we're in the air, it does does not like being up in the air particularly. Uh, we've taken many a bullets to the roof. Uh, a few to the sides. Oh dear God, I'm not fighting you. You will murder me. Oh, that's not quite the shortcut I hoped it was. We may have lost a bumper. Oh, well, a wing and a bumper. We're losing all of the bits of the day. We're lightning. Ah, we've spun around in front of a comet. Hey, dude. How you doing? Uh, <laughs> we are lightning as we go, which th this car could do with. We could do with some drastic weight reduction. Uh, my only hope is that in the city, I might have maneuverability on the... Well, I mean, I have maneuverability out here. It does... Can, can weave really well. Like, really, really well through here. Uh, admittedly, it's not really going fast enough for a lot of the time, but... Ooh, camera cut. Oh, he's off. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a big shunt. Uh, oh, no, we've got a big twitch. Twitch bad. Uh-oh. We're going for the stunt show again. Oh, please are joining in the stunt show. Uh-oh. Uh oh, no, 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 no. Come on. Come on. We're good. We're free. Did you... Oh, no. They... <laughs> I wonder if they killed themselves. No, they're just part there. I think they're just, just, just giving it a minute to sink in as to what on earth just happened to them. I don't blame them, to be honest. Not very often you kind of do a tandem crazy flip with... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> with a day you estate car. Never mind. We're back on the road. We're missing both of the front wings now. Uh, this is holding up pretty well, though. I mean, we've gone for two huge rolls. We've jumped off a... No! The bloody hell, the back end just lets go on you. We, we, <laughs> we've jumped off a mountain. We've had numerous nudges from the uh, from the police cars. Well, the Grange got into a wall. Now we're going this way. I'm not fighting the... Uh, <laughs> the great big... Oh, good God, what did I hit? Uh, okay, thank you for the... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the debris is causing problems. Just everything is causing problems for the day. But uh, we can get it turned around. Like Jay turns in this thing are ridiculously easy. You just go <laughs> you're about to do barely any steering input and we're round. Which is, uh, it has its uses, but um, yeah, it also has some problems from time to time. That's a bad thing. I was kind of committed to making the turn and then we got airborne. Holy crap, I'm out of the, the radius. I have nowhere to go now that I am out of the radius, but I am out of it. <gasps> Come on, Deu! Come on, the mighty Deu can do this! Uh, where on earth am I bloody going to go from here? I don't know. Uh, get through the boxes. Come on, boxes. Uh, <laughs> oh no, climb! Deu, don't be defeated by a bin bag. Oh crap. Come on, go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. If we can get out here, get in that tunnel down there, we might actually do this. I cannot believe how close we are. Don't get spotted. We're into the car park. <laughs> oh, come on, police. Please don't see it. Please don't find me. Please don't find the Dayu. Please let this be the quickest vehicle ever to get away from the police. Please, come on. Just don't look this way. Don't look this way. I'm going to hide up this end here. Right in the really difficult to see area. Come on, come on, stop looking. Nobody is looking for a Deu estate car. Nobody cares about it. In fact, nobody really does care about it at all. The Deu's done it in <laughs> in six minutes ish. The Deu has got away from the police. It is the be this is the best getaway car of all time. Um, well, that is a conclusion. <laughs> I uh, yeah I I don't quite know it's it it it's done it, it, it did the job um wow the, the Dayu is the best getaway car in GTA 5 that we could officially confirm that certainly of all the vehicles I've tested this is uh, <laughs> it's got away the fastest well I, a, a fair bit of luck may have been involved in that one I have to say I got away at the right time found some alleyways confused the police well enough and yeah it did it hmm. Okay, well there's one more thing, one more thing we have to then, now therefore must test with the, uh, with the Deu. So, the Deu was a mighty impressive car at getting away from the police in the city. However, to be named the ultimate getaway car, it must complete another task. A task that hasn't been completed by any vehicle. And that is survive the dangerous road while the enhanced police are giving chase. Quite a few vehicles have tried, even the Mercedes 6x6, which let's face it, if any car is suitable for that kind of a task, it should be the 6x6. That failed. That got, it got close, it got towards the end of the road, but that exploded. The monster Panto got a fuel leak and then exploded. Um, <laughs> so the question is, can the Deu... 
can the mighty, mighty Dayu survive the dangerous road? I'm rooting for it. I hope it does. I, I hope that this uh, this car will make it. Uh, you also, you may have noticed the speedo has vanished. Uh, I've been having problems with uh, GTA 5 crashing, and I think I've found the culprit. The combination of the speedo and the police, for whatever reason, causes the game to crash. Uh, so, yeah, fingers crossed we won't have any more crashes when uh, when doing this. Um, yeah, there are many there are many difficulties with this particular challenge, the reason why the cars do struggle with it. The first difficulty is actually getting to the dangerous road. You tend to take quite a lot of damage. Damage, just simply getting there because in the city you can weave in and out of buildings and so on and the helicopters don't really get that much of a chance to shoot at you however when we're going over to the dangerous road well the helicopters are probably going to be on me pretty much constantly this thing is not particularly fast in a straight line it struggles with the uh, with the speed so that we're not going to lose the helicopter we're not going to be out uh, we have issues with bushes as well oh bloody hell um yeah, we can't outdrag the helicopters to avoid taking damage from them, uh, so we are likely to be hurting. I mean, this did really, really well. In that first attempt, it survived so bloody much, um, and I, I was amazed that we didn't. It wasn't even smoking by the time we got away, despite all of the crashes. However, it has got a lot of punishment uh, coming its way. Uh, the other, the other difficulties is well, off-roading is not this car's strong point. We saw as we were leaving the uh, research lab the first time, it kind of gets a little bit funky. It has so many issues with bushes. So, so many issues with bushes. I don't know what the day was done, but it has offended the god of foliage. And every time you go near a bush, this car will pretty much spin. Now, I don't think there are any massive bushes on the particular course that we're or down the dangerous road, unlike Chiliad. Uh, but there's still potential for, for problems, and even ignoring the bushes over the bumps, this thing has a few issues. So, I'm not sure it's going to really like going off-road uh, that much. Uh, stop throwing cars at me. Please stop throwing cars at me, especially cars with people on the side of them that are shooting. It's not helpful. Um, yeah, I try to, I'm trying a slightly different way of getting to the dangerous road. It, seem, it seems a bit... Um, a bit less damage taken to the Dayu. But this bit here is actually now getting quite uh, quite on the risky side. Ugh. Oh, you, you, you were parked stationary and the second I appear you suddenly decide, I know what, let's go forwards. Ah, bloody hell. Uh, <laughs> that was damage we could ill afford. Uh, no, go away cars, please leave me alone. There's a roadblock and some more rangers and a wiggo. Oh, don't play in the bushes, bushes are bad, bushes are bad. Ugh. There we go, it's just... <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen a car snap around so quickly as this one. I mean, it does do a pretty good job of slaloming out of the way. Despite its terrible lack of speed, uh, it does do fairly well. Oh, there goes the bonnet. It's slaloming its way through the police cars, which is nice. Um, but uh, yeah, the lack of any speed at all is slightly problematic. I had to bail and go over here. Oh, oh no, we're taking more damage to our car before we can get there. Bloody hell. Go away, helicopters. Please just leave me alone. The only good thing I can say is at least they're shooting the roof and not shooting the engine. I think that's, uh, yeah, that, that, I guess that's a kind of a plus going on here. Oh, we can fit through that gap there, so we can. Fantastic. The cars are all bumping into things. I'm going to use a truck as a bit of a shield. And now we come to another really dangerous bit. Um, the, the route to the dangerous road is quite narrow. Uh, no, the pissing bushes. Uh, we, we kind of got it back going again, but we lost all the momentum that we could ill afford. Because now the Grangers are going to start shooting at us some more... Oh, go away, go away. Just something crash into the Grangers. They're such a big pain in the ass in this. Right, Grangers, crash. Okay, I'll just block them in. That works as well. I'm, I'm perfectly happy. Oh, no, 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 no. We can't, we can't be doing with that. That's, uh, the police are being effective. What's going on? They're using a bloody SWAT van to block the only bridge, so we have to go off-road. And uh, now the Monster Panto could avoid these bridges by going through the water. Now, that's all very well for a big monster truck, but I'm not sure that this is going to have quite as much fun with, uh, <laughs> with that sort of a thing, so I don't really want to take this through the water. Uh, certainly not if I can help it. There is a SWAT van that's getting stuck. Oh, please be stuck. Please be stuck. Please be stuck. Please be stuck. Thank you. Um... <laughs> Because if that comes back across the road, I can do nothing. Oh, no, 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 no. I've just seen the train of cars. Oh, no, they've all crashed. Excellent. We've made it to the dangerous road. We're alive. This is further than some cars have come. Uh, quite a few vehicles have exploded long before they ever got to the road, let alone survive along it. So that is a good start for the uh, for the Dayu. Now, this thing has got absolutely no speed off-road at all. It's uh, This is a pretty steep hill, and we have got none of the speed. The Granger's lost his guys on the side. That's good for me. Now we've got to start worrying about cars. Granger, you can whiz over that way. You can whiz over that way as well. 
if we see a swap van at an inopportune moment, we have had it. I think somebody has fallen off at this corner. This is a notorious corner. Sorry, Hiker. That's a notorious corner for things falling off. Them not at all. God, the Granger well held there. Good sir. That was some, some, some skillful driving from the uh, from the Granger, not from the Stanier. Yeah, that's off. Uh, the swap van is almost off. I've almost gone round. Swap van has fallen. He's not quite off the course, but he has fallen. So that'll give me a chance to uh, to get past. What else are we going to be? Oh, he's off as well. Oh, they splattered a hiker. Buffalo has gone skidding past. Granger, he jumped us. <laughs> that was pretty lucky. That was pretty lucky indeed. Swap van's never going to turn. You can go off. You can... Oh, I think this is where we, we have exploded at this point before. And we have been rolled over. Ah, we're fine. We've rescued it. We have rescued it. Now it's just too many police cars. Granger, roll. Thank you. We're good. We're going again. We're going again. <laughs> It's making it! The Dayu has gone pretty damn far. There's only a few more corners to go. Avoid the Granger. Avoid the Granger. What else is going to be throwing at us? Please just fall off this corner. No, the Stanier has got us. The Stanier, the next one's got us. Brakes! Oh, no! Uh-oh, now we are in trouble. Uh, God damn it. All of the big cars, none of, them, none of them really did very much to us. Oh, that was a big explosion. Some policemen have just fallen out of their car and are rolling down the hill. Uh, uh, thank you for that. Ah, uh, no, he's dragging us down. He's dragging us down with him. Go away. Uh, <laughs> uh, do we have any way out of here? If I can get back on the road, we can carry on. I've got to try and get some momentum going because we are not an exactly powerful car. Oh, we're being chased down in this bit. Ow! I was I was gaining momentum, goddammit. Are we going to have to do this all over again? I fear we may do. <laughs> Come on. Come on, vehicle. Come on, we can do this. We can do this. We can do this. Um, maybe if we can just gain momentum enough to get up here, we can do that. That would be really useful. We're kind of heading towards a swap van, unfortunately, which is less than an ideal situation. Oh, I can I can see the road. It is so tantalizingly close. There is another explosion. Come on, Dayu. Climb. Climb, you little bugger. Right. We're up. We're back on the road. Somehow. <laughs> It's done it! We're on the track again. It's got further than anything else. We are so close to getting down the dangerous road. However, we have actually got ourselves in a really, really bad situation here. Go away! Uh, stop shooting at my car. Uh, <laughs> I cannot believe this bloody car. Oh uh, dear, there's a buffalo. We're going to dodge him. I mean, this thing's been knocked off the dangerous road. It's Admittedly, it did get knocked off at about the most opportune point. I, there isn't a better point to fall off the dangerous road than than that particular one. I'm not even. I think we're not even smoking yet. <laughs> the day you is a magnificent car. Oh, we nearly got a big oversteer moment and very nearly spun. Okay, it's still going. It is still. Oh God, it jumped. <laughs> That's the second Granger to go straight over us. Good God, with the flying police cars. They are scary as anything. Right, we've survived the dangerous road. Go on, let's go Chiliad. While we're here, it's still there's no smoke coming out of it as well. It's uh, <laughs> If we can get over Chiliad as well before losing the day, I, I, if we can climb Chiliad, I would be surprised. This thing is struggling with speed, quite massively struggling with speed when we get on the dirt. But never mind, we will give it a try. That was very peculiar. It felt like they shot a tyre out. Well, they, they definitely haven't got a tyre. This thing's got bulletproof tyres on it, but that was very weird. I just lost steering for a minute. It stopped responding. Hmm. The, uh, the day he was not necessarily that happy with me putting it through all of this, but... Uh, come on, Dayu. We can do Chiliad. Surely we can. I don't normally approach Chiliad from this direction, but... Uh, ooh, there we go. Hey. Okay, thank you. Uh, I mean, I was doing fine. The car decided to spin, but I hit something that corrected it for me, so that's all good. Hey, we're just annoying all of the hikers of GTA 5, I think. Oh, good God. Uh, police car, could you give me a nudge? We've really got very little, very little in the way of speed up here. Oh, sorry. I was busy watching the police cars, not really watching where I was going. Granger to the face. Oh, no, it's one to the side. We got away with that one. That's a solid bush. Uh, <laughs> I thought we could graze past it. Um... Sure, I have no idea how on earth this car is still alive. It shouldn't. It really shouldn't be alive. It's, I haven't got indestructible thing on this car. I definitely know it can take damage because I beat it with a baseball bat at one point and it started smoking. Uh, so <laughs> it definitely will, definitely will take damage. It definitely can explode. Uh, uh oh. <laughs> 
Fuck, I may have got turned around. It's the cars that are being more of the pain with this, which is peculiar. Normally it's the Grangers and the Swap Vans and so on. They're the ones that cause issues, but with, the, with the, this day, the cars themselves have been causing no end of problems. Right. We have actually navigated quite badly our way over here, but never mind, we can we can figure this out. I'm kind of taking a slightly peculiar route, um, mainly because I actually want to try and you know get to the get to Chiliad. Uh, I could have gone for a much steeper path up there, but I don't trust this car. Oh, bugger me! With the buffalo just suddenly appearing. No, don't you dare block us in. No Granger, bad Granger. We're good. We're round. We are leaking fuel though. Oh, they've finally got the fuel tank. They have finally got the uh, the tank on this car. Um. I think we're not going to last too much longer. It was a it was a very very valiant effort though. No car has before has survived uh, the dangerous road, let alone even try to get to Chiliad. Uh, we are not gone yet though. We are leaking fuel, but we are still working. How far up Chiliad can we go before the day you gives up? Now we're unlikely to set fire to ourselves this time, unlike with the with the monster Panto and a few other vehicles, because there's no stuff you can upgrade on the ingots, so we don't have any uh, racing exhausts and so on, so we're not going to be spitting fire. However, I don't actually think we're going to be capable of climbing up Chile. Uh, uh, oh, it's, it's dead anyway. I was going to say, I wasn't sure we were going to make it, but the car gave up um, on us, which is... It is a shame. Well, the Dayu is the best getaway car in the history of GTA 5. It survived the dangerous road. Apparently, the police are incapable of shooting at it. Um... <laughs> Yeah, the police are useless. Um, it survived the dangerous road. We started the, the climb of Chiliad, but they eventually got the fuel tank and it, uh, it gave up. It is also protecting me perfectly well from the police. Hmm. Quite impressive, really. Uh, <laughs> it is a mighty car, the day. Anyway, uh, that is it for... Oh, no, they've now found a way to shoot me. Oh, oh he's going to come throw me out of the car now. I give up! I give up, but you've got me. Oh, we <laughs> there's not enough rolling down the hill. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, the day it is a a mighty, mighty impressive car. I will put a link to all of the mods I've used in this video in the description, so you can download them, have a go with them yourself, and I highly recommend the use of a day as a uh, as a getaway car. But uh, that is it for this uh, this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, uh, goodbye.